Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at installing this awesome theme to Windows 10. But before we do anything, you need to make sure you are running the anniversary or creators update as that's what this theme is compatible with. If you're not, then do not try installing this theme as it may crash your system and you could end up losing all your data. Right, you now need to click on the link that's in the description below and you'll end up on the page that looks like this. Once you're on this page, you need to now click on download over on the right hand side here. And you need to go save file. Once you save that file, we can now go ahead and open the folder. We're just going to right click and we're going to go extract all. And we just want to extract all the contents in that zip folder. Once we've extracted that folder, that's absolutely fine. As you can see, we've got our anniversary update folder and our creators update. But before we do anything else, we now need to go back to our page here and we need to scroll down and we need to click where it says Ultra UX Theme Patcher. We need to go continue and you end up on this page. I will also include a link to this website in the description below as well. And yet again, do not install this patcher unless you are running the anniversary update or the creators update. As you can see here, for the anniversary update, you need either version 1607 or version 1703. To check this version, if you go down to the bottom left hand corner of your screen, right click and go to system. Once you're on system, you'll see here it says version and well, it says version and I've got 1703 which is absolutely fine. I can install this theme and I can install the patcher. Please make sure you do have the correct version before doing any of this. There you go, as you can see, I've got the creators update. Right, we're now going to click on the download link here. We're just gonna click on Ultra UX Theme Patcher and we're gonna go save file. Once you save the file, we now need to run the setup.exe and we're gonna go yes. And I'm just going to minimize all that for a second. We now need to go next. I accept. Next. I agree. And we're going to hit install. It does create a system restore point, Ultra UX Theme Patcher. But if you prefer to create one yourself manually as well, feel free to do that now before you press install. I'm going to go ahead now and press install. As you can see there, it's doing a system restore point. Once that's finished installing, we can now go next and next and we need to reboot our machine. Once you restart your computer, you now need to go back to that folder where all the files that you extracted earlier are. And you now need to go to the folder that represents your system version number. I've got 1703, so I'm going to go onto the 1703 folder. Once you're in here, you can now choose if you want the address bar or without the address bar. I'm going to keep with the address bar. And you now need to highlight all the contents in the folder. And we're going to right click and go copy. Once you've done this, you now need to go to your C drive. You need to go to your Windows drive. Once you're in your Windows drive, you now need to go to resources. And you need to now go to themes. Once you're in the themes folder, you can now right click and we can go paste. We're just going to select continue. And once you've done that, as you can see here, there's all the files that I can set the theme up for. Or we can simply just minimize this window. We can now right click, go personalize. And go down to themes. And as you can see, we've got our new themes here. If I just click on one of them now, I'm just going to go with this first one here. And if I just minimize that and open up our Windows Explorer, as you can see, our Windows Explorer has now changed color, which is absolutely great. The theme has worked fine. 
but if you do have this little annoying white bit at the top here we can easily fix that by going back to the web page we were on earlier which is in the description below and if we scroll all the way to the bottom here we've got old new explorer if we just click on that and go continue I will also put a link to this web page in the description below and if you just scroll down and go download and we're going to go save file we now need to open up the container folder you now need to right click on the old new explorer and go extract to old new explorer once you've done that we're going to open up the folder and we're going to run the old new explorer once you've opened up that .exe we need to click on this top checkbox here that says use command bar instead of ribbon once we've clicked on that it will check the rest of these boxes here feel free to go through any of them and uncheck them if you don't want them checked and we're going to click on install once you've hit install we now need to go yes and we need to click down here and go yes again and if I close my Windows Explorer now and reopen it as you can see that bar has now gone at the top and it's as easy as that I hope this tutorial has helped if it has hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials